Electronics are an essential part of our daily lives, and we can't go without them. Whether it's your smartphone or your home security system, all kinds of different electronics help make our world smarter and better. But even with how much technology has already progressed, we still have a long way to go before we're in a truly smart world. Here's what electronics of the future look like. Cars. When Tesla released their first electric car, the Tesla Roadster, back in 2008, neither Elon Musk nor the general public would have ever been able to predict the massive success that the electric car industry would end up becoming eventually. Once he saw the success of the Tesla Roadster, Elon Musk launched the Model S a few years later, Tesla's first attempt at mass market sales. It was an astounding success and the car became one of the best-selling electric vehicles of all time. Since then, Tesla has overtaken Toyota to become the world's most valuable car company, as well as the first car company to ever reach a valuation of over one trillion dollars. All of this is an indication that the market is no longer expecting gas-powered or hybrid vehicles. The full focus is on electric vehicles. In countries like Norway, electric vehicles already make up the bulk of new car sales, and they're only becoming more and more popular in other countries as well. Once electric vehicles become the norm and autonomous driving becomes even more prevalent, we'll finally see the rise of self-driving taxis. Taxis will no longer require a driver, and they'll basically turn into an autonomous autonomous public transport system that'll always be on time, never get into wrecks, and most importantly, they'll be much cheaper than ever before. We might also see the rise of hydrogen-powered cars sometime in the future, although that technology is still mainly in its infancy. Smart Homes Homes are becoming an increasingly smart. These days, we have virtual smart home assistants like Alexa, Google Home, and Siri to help us with pretty much everything from turning on the lights to shutting the blinds. Adoption of Smart Home Technology has been gradual, with even the most decked out homes being considered only partially smart. In reality, no matter how many gadgets you buy, your home will never be truly smart. In order to make truly smart homes, we'll need to start constructing homes with that in mind. In the future, there will be companies that are dedicated to doing just that. Just imagine, your front door automatically recognizes you and opens when you get near it. And when you've made your way through, it closes and locks. The technology to make this possible is already here. The only problem is adoption and installation. Some people don't even mind having to do all these things manually, which may prove to be a hindrance in making all things smart. Smart homes will also have other features like pipes that automatically detect clogs and alert the plumbers, or advanced security systems that can learn more about the residents and inform you of an intruder. If all of this sounds familiar to you, it's because all of it already exists. However, very few homes actually have all of these features to ensure mass adoption governments will eventually have to make them compulsory for any future homes. It can certainly make the government's job easier, and it'll definitely make your life easier. Smart cities. Speaking of governments, if governments truly want to integrate with technology, they're going to have to start making smart cities as well. Smart cities can be a vague concept. Many cities around the world already claim to be smart cities, including cities like Shanghai, Singapore, Oslo, and Dubai. But one thing that's in common with all these cities is that they don't don't exactly tell you why they're smart. Sure, Singapore has its smart forest system, and Dubai has cool things like jetpack firefighters, but these are all just a part of what the potential of a smart city can be. In the future, truly smart cities will have all sorts of incredible features. Traffic flow will be greatly reduced with the help of AI traffic lights, as implemented in the Chinese city of Hangzhou. Computers will map thousands of kilometers worth of roads, and they'll automatically adjust the duration of a traffic light depending on how much traffic there is throughout the city. Homes will automatically report any disturbances to the police. Cities will be safer and police will be helped through AI detection. Cameras will automatically report crimes, although this is the point where most people get nervous. Let's face it, no one really wants a real-life Robocop on their hands, but the opportunities for smart electronics helping us are almost limitless. Public transportation. This kind of plays into the whole smart cities thing we just mentioned. When our homes and cities get smarter, public transportation will also follow suit. So what are some of the ways that public transportation can become smarter in the future with the help of electronics? Well, the first thing would be to make them all electric. There will be no gas emissions coming out of trains or buses, and achieving carbon neutral status would bring us one step closer to tackling climate change while also making public transport more efficient and cost effective. We've already mentioned the prospect of self-driving taxis. These can be government-funded projects 
projects that can be carried out on a large scale. Self-driving buses will probably be leading the revolution when it comes to public transport though. Companies like Mercedes-Benz have already come out with their own iterations of the smart bus and they're nothing short of spectacular. With these buses, you'll be able to buy a ticket from your smartphone, scan a barcode, and be on your way to your destination without any human interaction at all. Concepts like the Hyperloop are also becoming increasingly common. Although it's hard to really call them public transport, if we look at a little further into the future, concepts like super fast metro trains, which can get you from one edge of the city to the other within five minutes, may also become a reality one day. All this has become increasingly possible, and it's simply magical to see. Smart humans, with pretty much everything around us becoming smarter in almost every way, it's about time we become smarter ourselves as well. No, we're not talking about the smart humans that actually read some books and do research. We're talking about artificially enhanced humans. Think of it like steroids for your brain. But these days, a lot of different companies are coming up with computer chips that can be inserted into your brain and enhance your mental capabilities. Initially, it started out as a way to help treat patients with neurological diseases, but these chips may become a consumer item very soon. One of the leading companies in the brain chip market is Elon Musk Neuralink. Elon Musk secretly founded the company before he announced it to the general public, and reactions were mixed. After all, none of us want companies showing up pop-up ads right into our brains. While the concerns are valid, many people fail to see the way that all of us can advance using this technology. Imagine reading an entire book in about 10 seconds, or turning off the lights after giving your microchip a brain command. We'd go further into detail about how brain microchips actually work, but it's far too complex and honestly kind of gross to really explain properly. But when these chips are in your brain, they're not really a foreign object. Instead, they're just another part of your own brain. Creepy, but cool. Smartphones and gadgets. And finally, what about the gadgets? There are so many different ways that gadgets are getting smarter every day, with companies like Samsung and LG being at the forefront of this progress. Smartphones can now have transparent LCD screens that are still capable of displaying 4K resolution images. Remember all those old movies where they showed holograms as a way of video calls? Well, that's actually possible now, although it hasn't really been implemented in a smartphone form factor yet. Projections are expected to become a lot more common. Projectors are going to become smaller yet have a higher resolution. You could essentially have an 80-inch 4K resolution screen that you can carry around in your pocket and project whenever you want. Smart glasses will probably end up succeeding eventually. We've seen attempts by the likes of Google in the past, but those were in the wrong place at the wrong time. The technology wasn't really great back then. But glasses that can act as your smart guide throughout the day are now definitely a possibility. If you're already an electrician running your own business or just about to start and grow your own electrical business, you must learn the four critical things electrical business owners wish they had learned before starting an electrical business so you don't make the same mistakes. Electrician Accelerator have put together a free training video you can watch for free right now. It'll show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your electrical business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link on the description below the video. That's a wrap for what the electrics of the future look like. Which of these are you most excited to use for yourself? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.